and now it's time for Detective Self, for the first time ever in full screen. Today's case, Mystery at the Muffington Farm. You'll have to excuse me for showing up solo, Farmer Muffington. My associates Miss Halloway and Officer Nelly said I needed to know what it was like to work with the amount of input I respect. Guess that means they respect me so much that I'm fully capable of solving this case alone. I'm not sure if only one person can figure this doozy out. It's a real head-scratcher. Been racking my brain all day trying to figure out the sense behind it. Need not to worry, Farmer Muffington. You may only be in a single pair of hands today, but they're the best equipped in handling trouble. I've never had a case I couldn't crack with my high-caliber skill and expertise. Well, can you crack who set my barn on fire? I can't fancy who'd do such a thing. Yes, me neither. So? So what? So are you going to investigate who the arsonist or arsonist could be? Why, sure. First I'm going to ask you some questions and you're going to answer them. In the trade we call that detective work. I don't care what you call it. Help me find out who set my life's work ablaze. Okay, easy now. You're getting yourself all worked up. Now first, were the sheep in the barn at the time the fire started? Thank heavens no. The sheep and all the other animals were out in the fields. I turned around one second and saw the flames. I see. Tell me, Farmer Muffington, how long have you had these sheep? Beg your pardon? The sheep. Have you had them a while? Well, I don't know what that have to do with- You see, if you were close with these sheep, I'd think you'd have a greater reason for protecting them from the fiery barn. Perhaps a... sexual reason? What? Like I said, the sheep were already out of the barn to begin with. And if I was to protect them, it'd be because they earned money off their wool. I'm a sheep farmer. Sure you are. More like a sheep lover. I don't know what you're getting at, Detective, but I suggest you keep things on track and stop implying I'm some deviant fornicator of animals. Aha, uh -huh, so you admit it. You love these little cotton balls so much that you'd stoop so low as to set your own barn on fire. That way you could have them all to yourself in your own bed so you could live out your sordid fantasies. Well, this is an outrage. I didn't set my own barn on fire, and I never admitted to anything in the first place. Besides, I sleep with my darling wife in my bed. Ah, so she's in on this too, dirty birdie. I'm gonna need some time with her too for questions and possibly to pass along my phone number. I say, you are the worst detective I've ever seen. As for you, Farmer Suffington, expect to see a police car soon to place an arrest for arson to commit insurance fraud. And for you, innocent sheep, I'm calling the Humane Society to protect you from having to look at this pervert's quivering member ever again. Bye. Join us next time when Detective Self searches for Little Patty's pussy. Cat. Snookums ran up that tree and won't come down. Growl. Don't worry, Little Patty. If there's one thing I know, it's how to get a pussy. What you gotta do is not force your way in. Just operate slowly. Don't come too early, then move in on the snatch. Until next time, remember, sometimes the biggest mystery right in front of our face is our own reflection. <laughs>